Hi YouTubers, it's Smoking at 77 Again, for the first time today, first video, only video today like usual. This will be a very special uh, cigar video, and our cigar video. Um, this is going to be about my first cigar. Yes, the first cigar I ever tried. Now, y yesterday I did a video on cigars I miss. A lot of the machine-made cigars that I miss. Uh, like Black and Mild used to taste better, uh, game cigars used to be better construction, or better better well made, and uh, Dutch Masters used to have more flavors, so, and you may have guessed it by now, but um, my first cigar that I ever tried was a machine made cigar. So without further ado, um, I guess I'll tell you my first, what, what my first cigar was. My first cigar was a Dutch Masters Grape. That's it. So, now you all know what my first cigar was. A Dutch Master's Grape. <clears throat> so, here's a little bit of a history or um, on the whole thing. Um, I started smoking a pipe in uh, April of 2009, exactly on my 18th birthday. That's why I always make um, a video on my half birthday and birthday for, uh, you know, one year since I started smoking, etc. And, um, about a couple weeks after my 18th birthday, I, uh, decided to try cigars. Now, I knew nothing about cigars, like most people, when they first try cigars. So, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on my tobacconist, and I still go to the same tobacconist, um, that I went to over three years ago, Wash City Cigar. Um, so I went to my local gas station, um, which is a Shell gas station. And I bought, um, I think four or five Dutch Masters Grape cigars. And I remember I was out in the garage, which, which is uh, just a side, which is the room next to the room where I'm sitting right now, the garage. And um, I just, you know, lit one up and tried it, you know. I thought it was a lot easier than the pipe because you just, once it's lit, it's lit. And much easier to just puff, you know, you don't have to constantly puff it like a pipe. Um, like most people who try pipes, um, it's hard to keep the pipe lit at first. Um, over time you, de you develop, um, better techniques for keeping it lit. Um, <clears throat> but, um, I was, you know, pretty amazed by cigars. Um, again, it was a cheap machine-made cigar, uh, Dutch Masters Grape. Then I think a, cu a month or so later, or a couple of weeks later, I bought Dutch Master's Strawberry Berry. And both of the cigars, Dutch Master's Grape and Strawberry Berry, are no longer available at, around me. So, I missed them. Um, and Strawberry Berry was great. Very fruity, very, very sweet, uh, sugary sweet. Um, very nice. Then I think I went to my local tobacconist. Um, watch the cigar, um, probably a month after I started smoking, I actually bought, um, actual handmade cigar. Now, I had no idea in hell how to smoke a handmade cigar. Um, I didn't even cut it like a cigar. I didn't use a cigar cutter. What I used was a toothpick, um, to make an air hole. I know a lot of you use a cigar punchers, um, which make a hole in the cigar instead of cutting it with a cigar cutter like a guillotine. So I used a um, toothpick and just walked around town, walked not walked around my neighborhood and smoked it. Um, needless to say, it wasn't very good. Um, a toothpick does not make a big enough hole. It's impossible to smoke. I just wasted like um, six, seven dollars, eight dollars. Then <clears throat> a couple months later, around July fourth, I bought a couple of cigars um, from uh, my liquor store. Um, and, um, they were fun to smoke, um, but again, I had no idea, no idea how to smoke them. I just used a toothpick instead of a cigar cutter, so it wasn't very good. Um, I smoked them with, with a lot of my family on, like, uh, July 4th weekend. Um, yeah. <clears throat> then, as a lot of you know, I had a six-month period of smoking, uh, cigarettes which I no longer do, um, 
tried smoking cigarettes for six months. Um, I never inhaled, but um, it was never was a big thing. But um, kind of got away from the pipe and cigar for about six months, from about June to December 2009, and um, smoked menthol mainly. I uh, never liked it. Well, I liked it, but I I never was really into it. I never inhaled. It's more of a relaxation thing for relaxation thing, if anything. So. Um, then, uh, going to November, December 2009, I picked up the pipe again and fell in love with it, and yeah. Now, if you go further to, like, January, February 2010, which is when I started making, uh, my YouTube videos, um, January 8th, 2009, uh, 10, sorry, um, I, I, uh, bought a cigar at the liquor store, and, um, it was, um, I'm not sure what the cigar was called, um, I have no idea what it was called, I didn't, I looked at the video, actually, I actually looked at the video on my YouTube page, it was called Smoking a Good Cigar, I think, or something like that, something like that, and, um, and it, it, I don't know, it, I used a cigar cutter, I was actually pretty good at cigar, cutting a cigar for a newbie, a newbie, and, uh, yes, a newbie, and I used to remember the first time I smoked that cigar in the garage, during the video, it lasted like 50 minutes or so because I, I videotaped the entire thing and that was back when I could only upload uh, 10 minutes on each video Video, um, I didn't do very well <clears throat> well I did very well but I got a major head rush uh, I got a major nicotine buzz uh, I just remember coming in that day and uh, I was my head was spinning uh, I was dizzy and um, I, smoked that, I smoked that cigar way too, qu way too qu quickly um, then, um, you go spring, summer 2010, fall 2010, um, very few handmade cigars, uh, then, um, mainly black and mild and games, uh, cheap cigars. I would walk down with my friend, who I really no longer see that much, um, and, uh, and we would, I would buy, he didn't smoke, he doesn't smoke, but, um, I, I would buy, uh, black and mild and, uh, Occasionally, game cigars, and I would smoke them um, at the house, my house, <clears throat> on my porch, um, or on my pool area. Then you go to, you know, winter 2011. I uh, think uh, in fall, late fall, late 2010, uh, early 2011, I got a little bit interested in, in cigar smoking, and I um, smoked. Um, I uh, I think the first cigar I got was a back rat. It was a back rat from my, my tobacco nest watch City cigar. Pretty good cigar. Uh, nice and mild, but uh, boy, I, I remember when I was talking to my friend, uh, who my neighbor, and I was puffing on it, and I um, I think I, I inhaled a little bit, uh, and it just made me cough like crazy, um, just proving how strong cigars are, and, and proving how stronger um, uh, what do you call handmade cigars versus uh, the machine made cigars? Because a lot of people do inhale the, the machine made cigars, like Black and Mild. Um, so people insist you're supposed to inhale them. Um, so, yeah. And then eventually, you know, spring 2011, uh, I started really getting to the, the handmade cigars and really started, you know, walking around actually doing re and actually doing reviews on them. And I would actually walk around my, my uh, house and, uh, outside and uh smoke them and I would really get into like the I, that's why I started watching cigarobsession.com uh cigar obsession on YouTube and really get into the the whole transition points, you know, the flavors, the coffee, the caramel, the uh, liquor, you know, flavors. So and here I am, you know, over three years later. I love cigars. I still love the pipe better, the tobacco pipe, but uh hey, cigars are nice on a change. Um, <clears throat> so that's the story of my first ha my first uh, cigar, which is a Dutch Master's Grape, and the story of how I got into cigar smoking, and, yeah, um, uh, if you want to share how you got into cigar smoking, if you're a cigar smoker, uh, please let me know through comments, uh, personal messages, uh, video responses would be, would be great, um, I don't get a lot of video responses these days, so, Chime in and tell me um, if you got how you got into cigar smoking. What was your first cigar? Did you like it? Um, 
what problems we do face, um, possibly non inhaling uh, possibly uh, money, that kind of stuff. Um, anything would be, would be great. I just love having the feedback on YouTube. Anyway, peace out, bye, see you later, and...